and welcome back as I prepare to begin coveting my neighbor's wife in Perfidious Pete plays XCOM War of the Chosen. Your neighbor's wife, Pete, are you saying that you're developing a crush on Ball of Derp? Is, is that what you're coming out with? Are you, are you finally admitting that you're in love with Ball of Derp? No, that's not, that's not it at all. I'm not in love with Ball of Derp in any way, shape, or form. That is not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, I'm in love with Ball of Derp, Shotgun, and Sword. And I'm going to covet the hell out of those two weapons until they are in my possession. Because there is literally nothing I want more than... Oh, they're so good, man. That Arashi with some Talon rounds. The Katana with its armor piercing and can't miss damage. All things that kind of conspired to give me half a stock. And they, they did give me, honestly, more than half a stock. I want them. I got them. I need them. I want them in my inventory. I got to have them. How are we going to get them? Well, I have a plan for defeating Baldurp. We know basically her tactics. So she's going to come running up here in stealth mode. She's going to take a cheap shot at one of our troopers, insta wound them, and then she's going to vanishing win and probably run away. So we know what to expect, and we also sort of know a way we can counter that. And how we're going to counter it is we're just going to like bunch up in a big blob. That's going to be our goal. We're going to bunch up in a big blob. And really, our only goal is to make sure that when Bala Derp comes gunning for us, and she is going to come gunning for us, that she can't get so far away that we can't retaliate. That's literally our only goal. So we're going to hunker down like in this corner along this rail so that she's got really nowhere to run. That's our whole goal. We know how she's going to play this. We're going to try and play it to our strength. So we're going to bring Dragonova over here. We're going to have her go ahead and shadow. I stalk my prey. And then reload. The rest of the team, we're just going to form a defensive ball, and I think we should deform the defensive ball probably around Yuri with his shotgun, because Yuri is like one of the dudes we don't really want to go down. So let's do Yuri. You're going to be part of the defensive ball. Taylor Swift, we want you to have bullets in your gun, if possible, and reload. Helen Deadeye Keller, let's get you over here. Sylvester Hormone Stallone, we can put you over here. And Mox, I mean, she'll probably go for Mox. In all likelihood, Mox is going to be her most, he's probably her preferable target. So Deadeye will put you on Overwatch. Overwatch for Hormone. Okay. There's our girl. She has appeared. You say you're a girl? Yeah, I mean, I'm talking... Actually, there are our girls, because I'm talking about the shotgun and the katana. We don't give a shit about Ball of Derp. Let's face it. It's not really very attractive. I mean, look at her. You spend any time around my stuff. You know, I got a thing for, like, necks. I like long, elegant, delicate necks. It's sort of my sort of my niche there. My, uh, my kink, if you will. I'm all about the neck. And Ball of Derp, she does not have a good neck. Look at it. Bad. Also, her cheekbones... Way too aggressive. I mean, I don't mind uh, a little bit of the Nordic look there. We've got like the high, really prominent cheekbones. Sometimes that can be really attractive, but these look more like wedges of cheese that have been inexpertly stapled to her face. And honestly, look at that dentition. Can Are you going to want a blowy from Bala Derp there? I mean, I don't think I want that mouth anywhere near my genitals. Just not at all. You go ahead and keep, keep that to yourself, Bala Derp. Whatever it is you got working there, then, you know, that's all you, girl. That's all you. So, Yuri, two cases, Novak. I want you in the center of my defensive ball. We're going to put you here. And then we're going to shield you if we can. Okay, so Tay Tay, give me Taylor Swift. Tay Tay, I want you here. I want you on Overwatch. The Overwatch is completely irrelevant, by the way. And I realize that it's, it's irrelevant. It's not going to do us any good, and I know it. But we're going with a classic Blood Bowl strategy, actually, here, and that we're going to build a cage around Yuri Novak, because his shotgun is the one thing we really kind of want to bring to bear. We want to work the shotgun. We'll overwatch around the horn just because it's a convenient way to end our turn. Also, I don't suppose there's any chance we could figure out where Ball of Derp is standing, could we? Like, if we scout around a little bit... Wait a minute. If we scout around a little bit and try and find a tile that Ball of Derp is in... Could we walk into her detection radius and maybe reveal her? That would be pretty cool if we could. I mean, we have no idea where Ball of Derp actually is lurking. 
I'm just trying to scan around and see if there's any tiles that I should be able to occupy that for whatever reason I can't seem to occupy. Maybe she's down here? This is exciting gameplay, Pete. This is really gripping. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I want that shotgun. You know, even if you kill Ball of Derp on this mission, you're not going to get the shotgun. No, that's true, but you know what else I want? I want ability points, and Ball of Derp is also a key to cheap ability points as well. Where the hell is she? Maybe this ability just doesn't work on Chosen when they Vanishing Wind. It seems like we should have stumbled across her. For a second there, I thought we had her. She could be in this building, I guess. No, I mean, I'm not seeing... Oh, wait a minute. No, for a second, I thought I saw the cursor jump that is the hallmark of the presence of a ball of dirt. But, alas, it was not. So what if we bring Dragonova down here? I am trusting you. Now, I want Dragonova down here because Ball of Derp is probably going to fall back in this direction simply because there's not a whole lot of map over here. And this gives us an opportunity to whack her with the shrapnel grenade. So let's go with some more pointless Overwatch. Ball of Derp is over in that direction. That's actually helpful. We might be able to step on her. Oh, here she comes. She's going. She's going for my boy Yuri. All right, she got him. That's okay. Enjoy these fleeting breaths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and bending read, you chump. You're gonna go step on Dragon Over. She's gonna whack you with a claymore, and I'm gonna throw grenades at you until you're dead. So we could revive Yuri, and Yuri can go do a little shotgun surgery on our girl. Okay, Mox. Well, don't worry, we'll get it in there. Ah, the Claymore is out of range, and we want the Claymore. You know what? We can set the Claymore off with an explosive. It'll be totally fine. We bring Dragon over around over here. Then we throw in the Claymore. We got a bunch of people who have grenades. We can set the claymore off with a grenade just as easily as we can set it off with anything else. She's going to take extra damage for that because she has Reavers as an adversary. Stallone, you actually don't have a grenade. Is there any way we can get you a flank shot on Ball of Dirt? The answer is no. Helen Keller, go ahead and revive Yuri. Get up and get back out there! He's no longer days. That's what we need. How many okay, Keller. Are you willing to sacrifice to save this one? Uh, well. Let us find out. Now let's just hurl grenades at you until you decide you're gonna go away. That's my that's my current plan. Helen Keller, you got a grenade, right? Excellent. Why don't you just chuck it over here? You can hit Bala Derp with your grenade and potentially set off that claymore for us. That's good. There we go. Oh, hell yeah, we got nine damage out of that, and we shredded the armor. How clumsy of you. Uh, excuse me? Why was that clumsy? It didn't feel clumsy. I don't suppose we could grapple? No. Well, we could have Mox go shoot her in the back, or we could have Mox go throw another grenade. Yuri is not going to be able to get us anything, unless... Oh, we're not going to get anything out of Yuri. Damn. I was hoping he might still be close enough to maybe get a slash off, but it doesn't look like that's in the cards. All right, then. So we need... How many more grenades could we theoretically put on target? We could have Stallone go take what is effectively going to be a Hail Mary shot. Moving to designated I don't think we're really going to get much else out. Mox can definitely catch her with a grenade. Tay-Tay can catch her with a grenade. That's at least six more damage. You have a 31% chance to hit here, Stallone. That's terrible. The Overwatch does us no good because she's definitely just going to Vanishing Reed. We could have Mox come over and shoot her in the back at point-blank range. If we're going to do that, though, let's have everybody who might theoretically throw a grenade throw a grenade first. Yuri, let's just get you in full oh, cover. Right. Not that that's going to be helpful. Tay Tay, we're going to bring you... There, you should still be able to get a grenade on target. Stallone, you're probably going to wind up taking that ghetto shot, but I am not happy about it. The Crimson Lift got us a death. Start dealing some damage here. Give it the old what for, Tay-Tay. 
They take care of it a what for? That's three more damage. It's not fantastic, but it's some for the pile. We stack it up buff, we will get her. Stallone's probably gonna have to take the ghetto shot. Alright, Mox, I'm actually very concerned about you. You know what? I don't think your gun is gonna do significantly more damage than a grenade might. Plus, your gun has the added drawback of being capable of missing. And I'd, I'd really rather not do that. Plus, if this girl takes damage, like, multiple times in the same turn, she gets a debuff of some variety. She gets, like, rattled or brittle or some shit. So let's just... She gets bewildered, I think, maybe, is it? I had not expected this conflict to be so exhilarating. Well, you didn't expect that to have grenades? Alright, you chicken shit. She's running. <sighs> Well, I hope you brought more than some lost, because I gotta say, the lost are probably not gonna be sufficient to get the job done. We got a pretty solid little team here. What'd you bring? A couple lost dashers and a regular lost? Yeah, you should have brought bigger guns. I'll settle down, Maria. It's fine. The entire lost biomass seems to be converging on this. Oh no, the whole biomass. Well, you know, we'll just throw grenades at them until they're all dead too. Do this all day. So get the soldiers to the extraction point. I'm a little salty that Yuri got injured, but of course, I mean, we knew that was going to happen. We do have uh, some shots with Stallone here, so we could put him on Overwatch. Honestly, I'd really rather have him shooting proactively. Yeah, well, you know, uh, Pete, you're, you're a great hormone gag, and you only take a man so far. Uh, a little bit farther from that location where we needed to be than where we actually started out, so... You have to cut old Slash some slack on this one. He didn't quite have to shoot for it. We got unbelievably lucky that that shot missed. Okay. Yuri, uh, you're in a bit of a pickle. And it's time for you to fight your way out of said pickle. So one lost Dasher has been eliminated. How many 100% shots you got here? Uh, okay, well 96 is probably good enough. Let's have Yuri just start working the problem. We have a problem, we're gonna have Yuri start working the problem. Yes, yeah, so whenever you have problem, Pete, the solution always inevitably seems to be have Yuri work the problem. Why is it always got to be Yuri who works every problem, Pete? Haven't you ever had problem you can solve yourself? I mean, seriously, bro. Why is it always got to be Yuri? Yuri, go kill this. Yuri, go stab man in head. Yuri, go fight Lost Swarm by yourself and kill the entire thing with one man's armada of destruction. Yeri this, Yeri that, Yeri, Yeri, Yeri. It's always Yeri. Getting tired of kidding you, Pete. And let's face it, I've been kidding you for a while now. I mean, I probably would have dropped you if it weren't for the massive, amazing full two, four cases of abs that Yeri carries around all the time. It's my burden to bear, admittedly, Pete, but granted, you know, even with the 48 pack uh, helping me carry my many burdens, still getting tired of, uh, still getting tired of lugging your weight around, you load. It's time for you to chip in and start and doing now. your own share of the work, Pete. Yeti is tired of this. Let's do this. Yeah, reload there for Sly. Oh, I'm sorry, Mox. I forgot you were there. Moving there. Uh, you may go. Attacking on sight. I'm on it. Gonna have another swarm coming at us. Basically, the mechanic here is just they send a swarm per turn at you until you make it to the extraction or you're dead. Lost missions really are where auto loaders and things of that nature really start to shine. Has been sending purifier squads into these cities for years, yet somehow the lost survive, even thrive. We do not know why. Moving to designated position. So what you're saying with your last statement of the "we don't know why" Mox is that you've never even struggled or bothered to try and, and develop any understanding. You just saw a species that's potentially intelligent, by the way. And just decided, nah, we should, we should probably, we don't know how they work. Let's just murder all of them. I mean, what, what could possibly go wrong? The, these, these lost, let's just exterminate them like weeds in a garden. There's no reason for us to try and figure out what motivates them or how to control them or if they're friendly at all. Let's just murder them and keep murdering them until there's no more left to murder. That's a surprisingly human reaction. Miss Tay Tay. Also miss Yuri. I mean, I don't even know why we wasted the bullet. 
Nice shot from Helen Keller, at least. Somebody's doing their job. You know, Pieta was uh, discourteous to Keller at the beginning. Had doubts about her abilities, but I have to admit, as the uh, game progresses, I become uh, more and more of a fan. It seems like that Keller, that killer lady, is all right. I mean, she does good work. I did not exist when this city stood whole. Still, I feel revulsion at what happened to this place, to these people. I believe you. Yeah. Did you guys uh, maybe take this up later? What do you say? When there's not a horde of lost, I'm screaming at her, lusting for our blood. You think? Uh, hey, Keller. This guy's only got two health and you can't miss. Good shot. Enemy down. Helen Keller with the headshot. Free action. She also earned a promotion, which is sweet. All right, Keller, let's come in here and see what you got. What can you do in here, Helen? 87%, 81%. 68 with a guaranteed kill if we hit it. Now, we'll come back to that and see who else is going to be able to chip in. Wow, it looks like the answer to that question is going to be literally no one. Maybe Mox if we grapple? Mox? Potentially Mox. All right, so we're going to grapple to here. Let Mox play a little catch-up. He has no shots, but he can get right down into the shit. Let's have Mox As come over here. Command. I want Mox down in the shit. Plus, if anybody's gonna get punched here, honestly, I kind of would hope, like, I would like for it to be Mox. 91% solid chance. Mox delivers. Their journey ends here. I am almost out of ammunition. Keep, just keep shooting, though. Also, I love that Mox complains about being almost out of ammunition after he's fired literally one shot. It's like, I fired a single shot, I am almost out of ammunition. We're not going to need a justice for anything else, so let's just do this. And rip jack. There we go. For the free. That only unfortunate side effect of that is that it does not give us a bonus action with which we can have Mox reload. But that's okay. We're going to have the rest of the team try and catch up here. Tay Tay, up in the thick. Dragonova, let's get you forward and see if maybe you can spot our next pot of loss for us. We're... I mean, you're... Basically, to the extraction zone. I don't like this blind alley that we're running into. Moving it seems position. suboptimal. So the loan. Got to cover. Yeah, I'm gonna come over here and uh, take cover behind this uh, this mailbox next to uh, Taylor Swift. There. I guess hey, hey Taylor, I'm pretty sharp on this mission. Got a lot of kills and uh, what with the, the willowy beauty that you've got in possession, the, the, the lyrical style. Web change, you, you, you fancy 71 year old man? You think uh, maybe you could love old Sylvester Stallone, perhaps? Well, our cover is blown, I believe. They yep. found it. There's a lot of guys coming here. On the plus side, well, no reason to not have our girl Elena start shooting, although she may get punched in the head here. If one of these is a dasher, she's definitely taking a shot. There will come a day when my people take back this place for our own. All right, Keller, how many of these guys got two health? That is a uh, seven. Right, let's put you here. On the move. We're going to have Helen Keller start taking shots at all of the low health guaranteed kills, like this man. Scratch one for Keller. Anything we can have Helen Keller weed out early just to save ammo for our guys with guns that do more damage, we're going to do it. Keller can start weeding the garden. We're going to have her start working the weeding. She has to critical 87% for a kill. Take it. Got him. We'll come back to you in a minute. Stallone. Stallone should be able to generate some kills here as well. If we have him wind up the old cannon. 80% if he hits, he kills. That's uh, going to be a little bit of a problem there, Pete. Should have uh, spent a little extra, a few extra hours in the gym with uh, Mick this week from the looks of things, and, uh, well, I'm sorry, Pete. Uh, I'll fail you. Yes, I see that uh, Stallone has once again not done the job. Fortunately for all of you, the Yuri Novak is here to make clean up mess. I am like that brawny paper towel man. Yeti is quicker picker upper, Pete. No Someone comes, takes poke at Yeti. Yeti, he fired her right back. Tay Tay, I'm gonna put you on Overwatch. Here. Overwatch. 
Dragonova, I mean, I kind of want to have you just come down and cover this hall. You are the fastest member of our team as well. This alleyway, this like this little blind corner they've got us kind of tucked inside of, is very unfortunate. Keller, put you on Overwatch. Mox, you're going to reload. I think we should put Mox on Overwatch as well. I'm actually really worried about something running around this corner and hitting Yuri, so I'm putting Yuri on Overwatch too. The nice thing is, if they do come around this corner, when they trigger the Overwatch, they're going to be very close, so we should have really like a can't miss kind of scenario here. He says as Dragonova fires one blindly into the wall. Great shooting. Meanwhile, the actual blind lady is the only one who doesn't fire blindly into a wall. Okay, Mox also got one. Yuri? Yes, yes, once again, Yuri Novak does all of the actual work. Take that, you punk ass to beach. Get you? You're not between. I'm telling you, Taylor Swift, this is a relationship that we really must find a way to make this work. The combination of Swift and Novak, if, if we were to combine our genes together, our child would be the stallion that mounts the world. This is all that I am saying, Pete. It's, you know, if, if we combine our two genetic capabilities together, we will be literally unstoppable. There are two bad guys over here, and no matter where Stallone stands, he's only going to be able to see one of them. Are we going to have anybody who could get around here and still have a shot at that other loss? Because it looks like the answer is a big, fat, thudding, resounding no. Do we have anybody who can get close enough to cover Dragonova? Looks like the answer is also no. Okay. Shit. Okay. We may have to sacrifice somebody to a punch here. We're not going to have enough ammo. Even if we hit this shot, we're not going to have enough bullets because we're not going to be able to get a reload. We got the kill. We need somebody who can get that man dead. He's not a dasher, is he? Are you a lost dasher? Don't be a dasher. But that's all I got to say. Okay. Maybe what we do is Stallone. We don't need cover. Don't even. You know what? Don't even bother with the reload. Just run. Mox can't get anything. Yuri, if somebody's got to take a hit, I don't. I don't want that somebody to be you. Confirmed. Overwatch. We have Keller Overwatch. Mox, just run. Advancing quickly. Taylor Swift, come over here and create a wall for your newfound genetic donor, Yuri Novak, who's going to reload and advance very cautiously. I don't even want to stand near this wall because I'm afraid the zombie will take a swing at us through the wall. Another swarm. Yes, uh, Piet, you know, numbers are uh, not looking very good for Team Yeti here. It's just uh, putting that out there. To get the number of bad guys in the area and uh, increasing numbers are not, not good. We will be there. What does the Avenger have to fear? Why is it a concern that the Avenger may not be able to hold out? Is it gonna run out of jet fuel or something? I mean, it's not like the Lost can get to it. It's in the fucking air. Last time I checked, they couldn't fly. They're just like helpless zombies shambling around. Well, Pete, you never know when the Lost might suddenly develop wings and the ability to fly, so surprisingly. It would be, uh, it would be a real shocker. It, it's, it, it uh, really seems like the kind of late season plot twist they would do on, uh, on that show with the other zombies. You know what I'm talking about, Pete? Uh, the one with, uh, the man with the giant nickel-plated revolver who he likes to, uh, likes to murder. Great shot, Stallone. Great shot. You can't see anyone, huh? All right. I go. I like Box's simple sentences, though. I will give him credit for that. He's got a real kind of Dick and Jane feel about him. Be like, hey, Box, could you go over there? And he's like, I go. He goes. She goes. We go. See me go. I can go. 
Go, go, go. Mox can go. Okay, Yuri, you know what? You're the only man I trust. The only man I trust, Yuri, is you. I trust only one person. That was a double move. I may have just killed you. Keller, like I was saying, you're the only woman I trust. Literally just you. You're the only one. Please save Yuri's life. If Yuri Novak dies here, and it's looking ever increasingly like he might, I'm going to blame that on Sylvester Stallone, and I'm going to hate him forever. Don't worry, Piet. My baby's got my back. Yuri Novak knew that his girl, Tete D. Swizzle Swift, would not let him down. They don't call her the Crimson Lipped Goddess of Death because she doesn't kill a man. It's not how she got that name. I bet she gets another one right here. Oh, yeah, nope, sorry. It's okay, Tete. You shake it off, girl. The sheer magnitude of the biomass converging upon this position is staggering. If our team does not evacuate now, trust me, Doctor. They know. Roger that. Rolling out. As you order. Seems like everybody's gonna make move, it. Move, move, move! You almost made me misclick with the through the window Don't leaping you. there. Yes, yes, Pitts, but I have Space Helmet, and the Space Helmet will keep me safe. Keep me safe when that lost lady came out and stabbed me with Big Sword? Everything is fine. Outrider to Avenger, where the hell's our exit? That's a good question, considering it's a plane that can fly and that the Lost can't fly at all, and they could have just came down and picked us up at pretty much any point. Making this whole scene completely irrelevant. See, once again, simple sentences for Mox. I will follow. See me follow. Mox can follow. You know, you could be on the plane already, Mox. Time to return home, traitor. Could have just got on the plane, but no, no, no. You had to fuck around. Mox can capture. See Mox capture. Mox will suffer. See Mox suffer. Mox can suffer. It looks like we'll be getting some help from these new factions. Well, yes, but Yuri is going to go. He's very tired and holy shit pickles, Yuri must have had liver torn out. You know, if it weren't for Yuri's amazing 48 pack abs, I would probably be dead. Most people need liver to live. He's right there in the name. But Yuri Novak is no such man. Yuri does not actually need a liver. You have spare liver, like Klingon. We're not going to do any promotions, because of course we want to take advantage of our you can lead the Reapers Commander's Choice. Commander, well uh-huh. You can lead the Reapers any day. I guess Taylor Swift does have a thing for 71-year-old men. soldiers continue to work together has paid off. They know each other really? well enough at this point that we can have them train as a pair for additional tactical capabilities. Yeah, Tete said no to the 48-pack abs of Yuri Novak, but she couldn't resist the swinging 71-year-old crusty balls of one on Sylvester action. Stallone, they huh? Can help us find out where our captured soldier is being held. Uh, Taylor Swift is a weird bird. Support staff to assist me, Commander. I will make sure they are put to good. Yeah, Elena Dragonova is not. We'll have to figure out who she's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Volk, you want to like shut, shut your yam hole? I mean, I know it's almost Thanksgiving, but if you don't shut up, I'm going to go get a whole plate of yams and cram them down your pile. So. Yeah. Also, we could bond Keller and Stallone. Could bond Keller and Novak. We could bond Keller and Dragonova. We did actually get some pretty good mileage out of a sniper. Man, Elena Dragonova just like... I mean, I don't want to slut shame her or anything, but geez, girl, you've been on one mission and you got bonds available with like four different people. What's that all about? 
Uh, soldier bonds. So who could you bond with? soldiers has a unique relationship with their squad mates. Helen Keller and Taylor if Swift. complete combat missions together, their compatibility will grow yeah, and yeah. can eventually develop into a lasting bond. So Keller, who do you have? Uh, well, I mean, we should definitely promote you. Long watch is what we want here. That is out. Return fire is just straight up trash. So you will go with Sylvester Stallone or Elena Dragon. I mean, we got a really good mileage out of a sniper reaper combo last time. They do pair surprisingly well. The only thing is, how often are we going to be taken? You know, Piet, she could be Yeri's woman. This is a possibility. Wouldn't mind saying, hey, you know what? That Helen Keller, she's my woman. Now, you know what? We did it last time. Let's do it this time. Commander, the media is a powerful tool. Just ask Advent's propaganda machine. Four combined missions here. I say it's here. time we turn it against them. By spreading the word of our soldiers' exploits in combat, we can The ultimate the fire team. The no, I don't think so. What are we going to say? Lights out. Doesn't bother Keller. Yeah. What about this other one? We gotta get this, no, not the ultimate fire team. What are we gonna do? We're going dark. Yeah, that's, that's it right there. Yes, we're going dark. It's very funny, Pete, you see, because she is blind. And uh, you continue to make the jokes about it. And honestly, at this point, I don't really think it's ever gonna get old. We can't bond you, but who do you have bonds available with? Almost no one. Well, you know, Yeri's bondability is not exceptionally high. I am, uh, I am the wind, Pete. Yeri is, uh, he is singular, singular man. Yeri cannot, you can't pin me down, Pete. I don't, uh, you know, I am free as a bird. I will fly alone and free. And also perhaps I will become, I'm thinking maybe Blade Master, but possibly also Phantom. I mean, definitely at some point we would like to be both. You know what? Let's just go ahead and be Phantom now. Phantom is better early, I feel. Uh, Stallone, what do you got working here? Blast padding is trash, but we're going to go ahead and take a shredder. Uh, that's right, PJ. When you get your uh, chips down, you'll be like, hey, uh, somebody, Mick, you got somebody got a cubby, Mick. You got a cubby. And you, you, can, you can send me in, uh, like, I'll cut somebody. Like, I'll, I'll cut him real good. So we have some choices here with the Crimson Lipped Goddess of Death, and I would feel remiss if I made her basically anything other than a ranger. So let's just go ahead and do that. She's the Crimson Lipped Goddess of Death. We can't not make her a ranger. Which means we kind of have to pick what she's going to pair best with, and that means she's going to pair best with, like, uh, you know what, hey, hey? Do it. Of course we're going to. Yes, Swift and Stallone. Ah, give me that other text box down at the bottom, though. I want that other text box. You're spending an awful lot of time here. The meme shot. You're right. I'm, I'm, I'm spending an awful lot of time on this. I really, I want to add that other text box though. You know what? Just randomize it until we get the one we want. Goddess and hormone, thunder and lightning. I mean, that's borderline beautiful. Goddess and hormone. That's so good. Let's get a that reasonable background, burger. though. Are you eating it, or is it eating you? Yeah, I like that one. Uh, other background color, though, just give me like something not red on black would be nice. 
Ooh, that looks cool. Let's do that. Don't don't tint the background. Oh, there it is, right there. That's gorgeous. Goddess and hormone head on. Don't know. We're gonna get rid of that. Uh, text box one. Goddess and hormone. No, it's gonna be Swift and Stallone. And then what's this gonna say? Thunder and lightning. Nah, we're gonna go with May December. Yeah. Hey. Should that be like hyphenated or something? Yeah, let's just like throw a solidus in there. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Seriously though, throw a solidus in there. Give me the old. There's what we want. May December. She's uh, she's a killer. I always wanted. Be. Uh, just, what can I say? She's uh, irresistibly adorable, and uh, I guess it's just the swing of my shaggy old crinkly balls that uh, brings her running for the rich station of Estrone. Alternatively, maybe she's looking to just keep her young, fit, agile, nubile, oh, <laughs> so good, be a nubile form in tip-top shape for as long as possible, but getting in early on the ground floor, this whole human growth hormone thing, you think, uh, it's probably what she's just looking to get in on the ground floor, and I gotta say, it's, it's a brilliant idea, P. She's a smart lady to take advantage, that's why she's a gojillionaire. Alright, I've had enough of this. This is you're Stallone. It's getting real weird now. I'm just going to bail. If you enjoyed the episode, feel free to drop a like down in the comment section. Support really does mean a lot. If you'd like to see more May-December relationships, you might consider subscribing as well because that whole Swift and Stallone thing ain't getting old anytime soon. Right now, though, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon.